Justin Snyder making his way to the ring. Good old D. Snyder. Justin Snyder, one half of the tag team champion, along with Eric Faden. And of course, accompanied by general manager JT Allen. Wherever he goes, when you take on one, Brian, it seems like you're taking on the entire faction. You take on one guy, you take them all on. What you see here, not only is Dustin Snyder competing in singles action against uh, Stoney McMooverson, he's also, along with Eric Faden, going to be a part of that double threat rumble tonight where the winner gets a title shot of their choice anytime, anywhere. Dustin Snyder, like everyone else in this match, will have an 8% chance of winning. Now keep in mind, that could put the champions on notice that they're sitting ducks. What? what? From Death Valley. Death Valley. He has never lost on this particular day. And never lost to anyone as short as Dustin Snyder. Whoa! Are you always on the card? That is offensive. That is offensive. Dustin Snyder, he, he's, he's like dynamite in small packages. The Understoner. The what? The Understoner. The Understoner. Are you serious? Now obviously, what, Brian, what, we've what? heard this music before. What is this not, nonsense? Not, not in this building, but we've heard it before. The Understone? I don't think I'd ever hear this music in this building before. But now I've seen everything. 299 pounds from Death Alley. Oh my goodness. We know who it is. Well, he carries that 299 pretty well, doesn't he? Look at this. Stoney McMooverson. Now what is that? Is he wearing is he wearing paint cans? I didn't I knew he wasn't that tall. Oh my goodness. What is this? This is a mockery. I'm sorry. Oh, he's helping you in the ring and he's what is this? To get on stilts. You could call it that. Now, Eric Baden, JT Allen, they're, they're not impressed at all. They're, they're, not, they're not happy about this one bit. Well, I think, you know, they're not happy they have to deal with this clown, but I'm sure they think the, uh, I don't think they appreciate the parody, and quite frankly, neither do I. Look at this. He's always doing the hat thing. And you want to talk about mind games, Brian. Stoney McMooverson has it. We've seen him as Triple Stone. We've seen him as Stony Dust. We've seen him as a hippie. We've seen him as a gentleman. And today, we have the Understoner. Well, you know what? I'm pretty sure the wrestler in question has just rolled in his grave. Look at this. And Dustin Snyder trying to jump him before the bell rings. And the Understoner going to work on Snyder, just tearing into his man. Well, you know, as silly as a parody is, you have to admire the attention to detail. Going to work on Snyder. Has him. Shoots him into the ropes. Picks him up. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Possible sidewalk slam. Yes, indeed. He got it done, Brian. Sidewalk slam. And, uh oh he's looking at JT Allen. Did he just roll his eyes back at him? Yes, he did. Oh, look at this. Oh, no. for a choke slam. Possibly. Oh, oh, leaps over. But Snyder's having none of that. Look at that German oh. suplex right onto the head of the Understoner. That's, that's an impressive little name. I wonder how long it took for him to come up with that. Well, nonetheless, it, it, it got to the mind of one Justin Snyder. Two, look two that. count only. Shows the tenacity of Stony McMooverson. I don't want to call him by that other name anymore. For him to be able to kick out after landing practically on his head from that German suplex. Going to work on his man, Snyder. Just series of punches right to the top of the head of the Understoner. If you mind the press, foot on the ropes. Referee caught that. You have to admire the attention to detail. He's got the punches down. He's got the little uh, the mixed martial arts gloves. If you look even closely on his neck, 
There's a there's a uh, space for rent on the front of his neck. Has him up. What's he gonna do oh, with him? Oh, Dumps him head first right to the buckle. Oh, oh nice right to the hand by the understoner going to work on Dustin Thank Snyder. Snyder, I think, was caught off guard by this uh, this mockery that Stoney has going for him here. Look at this, the crossing the arms. Well, in this business, not only is physical, it's mind games as well. If you can get into your head mentally, the match is halfway over. Series of punches, roundhouse, right by the understoner. Throws Snyder into the ropes. No, there's the clothesline right across the sternum. That can do it. Goes to the press. One, two. Two count only. Obviously, Dustin Snyder, he, he's affected by this one. Rake in the face by Snyder. Going to work on the other stoner. I'll tell you who's affected. I think Stoney McMooverson is affected in the head in order to be doing this kind of stupid, stupid stuff. Well, you can call it stupid. I call it affected. Now, Eric Bannon, he's, he's on the ring apron. That is, oh! Caught, crotched himself on the middle floor. And uh-oh, JT didn't see that coming. Understoner, he's got Snyder. He may not be the real thing. He may not be the real thing, but JT Allen was still intimidated by the Understoner. Oh, without a doubt. And now the Understoner has him. Oh! Oh! Leg smash right across the sternum on the ring apron. Snyder is in a whole world of hurt. He's in a whole world of trouble, Brian. You wouldn't have to watch a pay-per-view that takes place in Arizona to see a man wrestling this style in action. We're getting it. For, we're getting it uh, on the cheap here tonight. Here in Springfield, the West Coast Wrestling Connection, we thank you all for letting us in your living room, checking us out on TV, but you got to be here live in person, kicked to the stomach by Snyder, forearm shot, has him hooked, suplex, and you know, you're also forgetting, aside from the TV, there's also the website, wc-wc.com, and the WCWC Webmatch of the Week, hosted each and every Monday by yours truly. That's right. Check it out on the webcast. Brian Zane's the man hosting it. Go for the show slam again. Oh, my goodness. Oh, he got him. Got him with the choke slam. JT Allen is bent out of shape. Goes for the press. One, two. Foot on the ropes. And JT put his foot on the ropes. JT Allen was interfering once again. Brian, surprise, surprise. He does it. Every time he shows up, makes his presence felt just ridiculous. You know, if I, didn't know, if I didn't know any better, I'd say JT Allen was taking a page out of the Z-Man Enterprises playbook. But now what is this? Armbar with a twist. He's going for some old school. Old school? You've got to be kidding me. He's got it. Uh -oh. Old school is out. Oh, no. Oh, you're not kidding. He caught him, tipped the foot, crotched himself on the rope, landed right on his head. Under Stoner did. Snyder has him, picks him up, possibly going for it. Look at this. Oh, no. Sit out power bomb. I can do it. Two. Three, that is it. Justin Snyder wins the match. Very impressive, hard fought match. That was, that was almost a DVD, a Death Valley driver into a Michinoku driver there. I had to talk to him and ask him what he calls that move because that is devastating. It took out Stoney McMooverson or Stoney or Understoner, Stoney Taker, whatever you want to call him. Understoner. Understoner. He came in here with all the pomp and circumstance of a certain wrestling legend, and he was taken out. He was taken to school. He went for the old school attempt, but school was out, out long ago, summertime. And look at this. Oh, now he's doing the thing, the pose. I don't know what you call that, but it's offensive. Stony Tinker, under Stoner. Well, he, he, he can wear whatever outfit he wants to wear. He can't even do the flip. Well, nonetheless, the under Stoner, he, he gave it his all, and... Mentally, it did get the attention of one Dustin Snyder, caught the attention of one, the faction, 